Hello everybody, this video is about how to load a MicroPython script onto an ESP32. And we're going to assume this ESP32 has already been flashed with MicroPython. Uh, we're simply going to upload the main.py script onto the board. So there are three methods in Windows that I know of on how to do this. It's, uh, the three methods are UPyCraft, Ampy, and uh, MPF Shell. So we're going to start off first with UPyCraft. Uh, it's going to want you to install some kind of font there, just cancel out of there. Um, you want to open up the file that you want to load onto the board, which in this case it's main.py. Now we have that. Now you want to go to device manager just to make sure you're, you know what port the uh, ESP32 is on. So you go to device manager. and check your ports and you see that it's on COM3. And we'll get out of that. Now we're going to open up COM3, go to Tools, Serial, COM3. And okay, that didn't work. Sometimes you have to do this more than one time. So now it worked that time. So the way you know that works is you have these three little arrows down here in a, in a terminal that acts as a prompt. Okay, uh, now you just simply go to the right side of the screen where it says download and run. It's a triangle that's pointing to the right and click on it. Okay, and we have been successful. And th this is the board that we loaded it onto. If you can see that, it's, a, it's an actually an ESP32 attached to a breadboard. But all this program does is make the LED blink and it counts every time it blinks, it increments. So we can see that it worked. So now let's move on to the next method of loading a script onto the ESP32 board, which uh, is AMPI. Now if you don't have AMPI, uh, you need Python for it. So after you load Python and pip, you can just install it by pip install add a fruit ampy and it's already loaded onto my machine so you see the requirement is already satisfied but if it wasn't loaded of course it would have installed the ampy software for you to use so the, the way you load the main.py onto the board with ampy is you say ampy dash dash port skip a space com3 put main.py it says error because we're not in the correct directory so you want to cd to the directory that main.py is in cd tutorial and we'll try that again and of course that time it worked we can check with on a putty to make sure that that it's running and uh, uh, change the speed to 115 200 it's on com3 you open it and then we're going to just re push this reset button and you can see that it's doing the same thing. You have it blinking and it's counting. So the final method we're going to go over is uh, called MPF shell. So the same way you pip install and of course it's already on my computer so we're going to type MPF shell and it's going to open up another terminal and just type open COM3. 
So now it says connected to ESP32. Uh, you just simply type put main.py. And it's the same thing. I'm not even going to open PuTTY up to show you, but it just loaded main.py onto the ESP32 board. So if now, if if you're not comfortable with all of this stuff and you need some help doing it, we, we do this kind of work. We do all kinds of programming at expertcoders.net. Uh, feel free to contact us. Uh, just go to our website and go to the contact page. Uh, thank you for watching this video.